Hello and welcome to my educational video and personal experience slash story about single-sided deafness and my upcoming cochlear implant. My name is Simon Bridge. I am a nursing student at Western University in Canada and I am the oldest sibling. I have a younger brother and two younger sisters. So my story begins and my loss of hearing on my right side begins November 12th, 2021, where I received a traumatic brain injury and a skull fracture. My skull fracture involved my occipital bone and my temporal bone. The temporal bone fracture reached my innermost ear where my vestibular apparatus is and destroyed it. In the vestibular apparatus, there is a system, an organ called the semicircular canals. The semicircular canals are responsible for um, your motion, detecting motion, head position, and spatial orientation, as well as balance. And currently my balance is not very good. I am in rehab trying to improve it. Um, basically balance, you need three fundamental things. Um, the first one, is your the semicircular canals there's fluid that moves around and detects your head position so that's one the vestibular apparatus semicircular canals two is your vision uh vision you can see obviously and you can send messages to your brain of where you are and just see depth whatnot right so semicircular canals vision, and the third one is proprioception. Proprioception is how your brain knows where your limbs are. There's a map in your brain of your body, a body map, you can say, and it, when you close your eyes, you can, you know where your hands are, like I know my fingers are gonna touch. So my good um, fundamentals are my proprioception and my vision. Um, as my vestibular, is damaged I only have the two and when you take away either my vision or my proprioception on top of that it is my balance becomes very difficult um, so that is one thing I'm working on right now to improve for the future um, next I would like to talk about my single-sided deafness experience um, it's been uh, over two months now and I have um, been victim of a lot of the negative consequences that come along with it. Um, the first one I would like to talk about is um, being unable to figure out the direction uh, and how far away sounds are coming from. So basically, we have the ability to locate and figure out how far sounds are coming from by being bilateral hearers. So using both. Um, there is a muddled input of sound into my left ear. Um, and I can't, I can't locate sound. So there's been a lot of times when someone calls my name and I do a 360 scan to look for who's calling me. I don't know where they are. Uh, this can be very annoying, especially in my future profession and lifeguarding. It's very beneficial for me to know where sounds are coming from so I can react and get there. As well as a lot of other things in life, but those are two of my uh, priorities and life goals and biggest ideals that I work for and love. Um, Another issue with single-sided deafness is being in a noisy room and con having a conversation with someone. Having all of the sound being uh, input in, into my left ear, it's overwhelming. Um, I can't focus or eavesdrop, as you say, on specific things. It's just a constant overload of sound. Um, so I'm hoping with my cochlear implant 
this goes away and it should. So I'm looking, I'm very excited for that. Uh, another annoying thing is just participating in a group conversation. Uh, people to my right side, I feel like they're ghosted out. Um, especially someone right beside me. Uh, I can't hear what they say. Um, their sound waves basically travel. It's not like they wrap around the head. They project this way. And my right side, my bad side, is receiving all of the sound waves. So I can't hear them on my left. Um, it's really annoying, but I have learned that I always have to sit myself at the right side of the table or any conversation, which helps. So in less than a week, um, I will be getting a cochlear implant. A cochlear implant is more of an electronic or digital way of hearing. It's a surgery. They, there are two pieces to the surgery. There is an external piece that sits on your head. It's a magnet. And they, implement, they insert a um, ex internal piece underneath your skin, in between your skull and skin. They also drill a hole into your innermost ear. Um, the hole is used to send a wire with electrodes into your cochlea. Your cochlea is a snail shell and they send the wire in, curls around, curls around, and there's electrodes on there. This is interpreting the acoustic sound that we hear or the sound waves that come into our ear since it's not able to enter. So as humans, we have an acoustic hearing. hearing. We can hear a lot of different sounds. Uh, just naturally, we have great hearing. And this cochlear implant, it's more of a digital electronic hearing. So my brain will not be used to it. I will have to get, um, I have to learn and practice hearing from it. I'll have to plug my ear, my good ear for a couple hours a day and listen to some online listening tests, basically just with my new way of hearing. Um, I am really looking forward to being able to be by bilateral here again. Um, I'm a social person, so this I know this will help me in the future. Um, the biggest thing that I'm worried about is um, facial paralysis. One of the cranial nerves, the facial nerve, responsible for muscle control of half of your face, also taste, is the biggest concern for a cochlear implant. Um, so, fingers crossed that I'm good. I just, I feel like I've already been experiencing a lot and that would be a little burden that I would take a lot more perseverance and commitment and positivity to overcome. So I am excited for this. Um, I have a great surgeon. He's done 700 surgeries and he's never um, had a facial nerve injury. So I'm looking forward to a new beginning and a new story to start my life with my new hearing. All right, guys, it's uh, surgery day today, January 24th, 2022. We're getting ready to go. Best of luck. Good morning, guys. It is uh, the first day after surgery, January 25th, 2020. Um, you can see I have this jock looking protection on my head for my ear. Um, I'll be able to take it off later today. I'll come and talk to you guys again when I take it off. Um, so my cottage right now, walking around without any vertigo, which is what I'm happy about. Uh, vertigo is when basically everything, everything you see is just cycling around like you're in the middle of a wash machine. Um, I feel like I don't have it because my vestibular system is already um, is already fractured and destroyed. So the semicircular canals, it is a big side effect after surgery, but um, 
not right now for me because of my history with it. Um, I do have a lot of tinnitus, more than I did before. I have um, ringing noises coming and going in my ear, all different pitches and volumes and sounds. Um, I think this might get better once in a month I get my cochlear external piece to complete my bionic hearing. Because right now it's just the internal piece in here has to heal up. Um, also, I can't blow my nose for a week. Um, I blew my nose, I forgot last night, I blew it in the bathroom. Uh, I was with my brother and my nose just started spewing blood. And uh, I think it's just that you can't blow it because of the pressure change. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Um, anyways, I am gonna go eat so I can take my medication and uh, carry on with my day. Talk to you guys later. All right guys, so I took off my headgear today, uh, my protection strap. So I got a gnarly glimpse at the incision site. You can see here, I got about 17 or 16 staples holding up that wound. Um, shout out to Dr. Parnes and the healthcare workers at uh, University Hospital in London, Ontario for doing such a good job and keeping me safe. Uh, no facial nerve destruction. Very happy about that. And thank you guys for listening to this video. Um, I really appreciate sharing uh, my experience with you guys. And I hope you learned some things. So I will be making another video about my cochlear implant activation. And um, what it's like to hear with it and to learn how to use it. So... That'll be in, I'll get my uh, external piece in a month. So yeah, keep tuned. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Hope you have a great, great and safe day. Not a good day, a great day. Take care.